We have a last minute question from Ellen. If you have them, I try to make it short. Hi, Adrian. You said in the beginning, who surrenders? Then in this case, who dissolves what? If there is no me and there is no object, then there is nothing to dissolve or to be dissolved. Yes, that is exactly correct. The only thing that is dissolved, it's not a real thing. It's like the wave of the ocean is not dissolves to become the ocean it is just realizing that it is the ocean that it's not a separate wave not a separate thing apart from the ocean that's why we cannot do anything that's why surrender is not an, a doing but a realizing and understanding and through this understanding or through this love where we forget to be a separate self the reality starts to shine through again this is the game that we are playing with ourselves we're pretending to be something separate that needs to be dissolved and when we dissolve we realize that we were never solid It's a very good question and it's very true. There is no separate me that can do that. And that is exactly the understanding here. There's just consciousness who's playing that game with itself and then realizing what it has never forgotten. But along the way has taken on this convincing pretending of being something separate. Sometimes this picture came to me lately or quite a while ago. Now you see when you see like a puzzle, no? Like a picture of a puzzle. And it's all confused. It's all over the place, no? So, so you, don't, you don't have apparently the whole picture. So it's all, all these pieces, no? Seem to be separate. And then imagine the, the, the picture is put together, but the wrong way around. So you still apparently don't know the, the whole picture, but it's actually on the other side of it already. And then you turn around those puzzle pieces and the picture becomes more and more clear. This is understanding. You already have it together. You put it already together. It's there. The dissolution of the of the of the gray into the beautiful picture is already there, but you somehow haven't put those puzzle pieces back the other way around where you can actually see it so you pretend of not knowing but on the other side you know exactly already that's the game so you you 
play this game or like i say when i played as a kid with myself chess or something and it's like oh yeah i i solved the puzzle i got it god can you see this great nature and you've known it already before but you have just pretended and if you would have known from the start you would have not enjoyed the game to make this puzzle you know maybe it took uh, took you days or weeks to put it back together and it's like oh yeah I got it. I won. And then you celebrate. If you would have known from the start, you know, then the game, the playing would be would be kind of boring. Does it make sense? <laughs> 